So for an example of an arc length problem, I'd like to find the length of the arc of the space curve, r of t equals, component functions are 2t, 1 third t cubed, and t squared, connecting the ordered triple 0, 0, 0 to the ordered triple 2, 1 third, 1. Now what these two over here are going to do are let us know what our bounds are. So we're interpreting these three component functions as x, y, and z. In the first case, we're saying that 2t is equal to 0, 1 third t cubed is equal to 0, and t squared is equal to 0. Please don't think too hard about this one. It lets us know that t is going to be equal to 0. For the second point, that would be 2t is equal to 2, 1 third t cubed is equal to 1 third, and t squared is equal to 1. Solve whichever one you want to determine that the upper bound is going to be t equals 1. Next, to set up our uh, ds, we're going to need some derivatives. So this will be x prime squared plus y prime squared plus z prime squared to shorthand those derivatives a bit. Now this is saying we're going to be taking the derivatives of each of the three component functions that we have up here. Derivative of 2t will be equal to 2. Derivative of 1 third t cubed is going to be t squared. And the derivative of t squared will be 2t. Each of those derivatives are going to be squared. I'm actually going to do two things at this step. I'm going to square all of these things and reorder them so that the highest power comes first and the lowest power comes last. This will be t to the fourth plus squaring the 2t, that'll be 4t squared, and squaring the 2 gives me 4. The reason that I did that is because this actually factors pretty nicely. There was a reason that I started with such strange looking component functions so that it would turn out oh so nicely. Now technically when I take the square root of something squared it would be the absolute value of this. The good news is that uh, t squared plus 2 is always going to be a positive quantity anyway so we don't need to worry about that. So with that in mind our arc length is going to be equal to the definite integral from a to b of the expression that we just created. Those limits of integration that we found back here are from 0 to 1 of t squared plus 2 times dt. Both of these integrate using the power rule. This will be 1 third t cubed plus 2t. Going from lower bound 0 to upper bound 1. Therefore we're going to wind up with 1 third of 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 minus when I plug in t equals 0 we are simply going to get a lot of zero. Combining our like terms together we have 2 plus 1 third, get a common denominator for those and add them up. We get a final answer of 7 thirds. Now big key part of this is when you're simplifying this radical look for identities that you can use like factoring a perfect square, factoring a greatest common factor, or occasionally trigonometric identities show up as well. 